Hi guys, it's been almost three months now since I published my last video on the issue of SSD where on the M1 Max. In that video I ran some tests on both an Intel Mac and an M1 Mac with the same amount of RAM, and I found that the M1 Mac was writing between 8 times and 58 times more data to the SSD as an Intel Mac running the same applications. Since then we've had the release of Mac OS 11.3 and 11.4 which, according to some sites, has fixed the issue. So it's time to run the same tests again and find out if the issue really has been fixed. In the first test I edited three 26 megapixel RAW photos in Adobe Lightroom Classic. After editing the three photos, the Intel Mac had written 1.58 gigabytes of data to the SSD, and the M1 Mac under macOS 11.2.3 had written 91.73 GB. That's around 58 times more. At the time, Lightroom Classic still hadn't been ported to the ARM architecture, so it was running under Rosetta 2 on the M1. But since then, it has been released as an ARM native binary, so Rosetta 2 wasn't used in the new test. This time, under macOS 11.4, the M1 Mac wrote 48.28 GB of data to the SSD. That's close to half of the original amount of data, but still over 30 times more than the Intel Mac. In the second test, I edited four 26 megapixel RAW photos in Adobe Lightroom CC. Lightroom CC is generally a lighter app compared to Classic and a bit easier on system resources. In the original test, the Intel Mac wrote 1.82 GB to the SSD, and the M1 Mac wrote 37.55. Now, under 11.4, the M1 Mac wrote 20.76 GB. Again, that's close to half of the original amount, but still 11 times more than the Intel Mac. For the next test, I switched over to Apple's own Photos app, and again edited four 26 megapixel RAW photos. In this test, the Intel Mac wrote 1.24 GB and the M1 Mac wrote 10.27 GB. This time, under macOS 11.4, the M1 Mac wrote 9.4 GB. So there was very little difference, just a 0.8 GB reduction between macOS 11.2.3 and 11.4. For the next test, I switched over to video editing and edited a short 2 minute 16 second 4K video in Final Cut Pro with transitions, colour grading and a music track. To keep the results meaningful, I used the exact same clips and transitions this time as I did in the last test. After editing and exporting the video, the Intel Mac had written 3.85 GB to the SSD and the M1 Mac had written 47.74. This time, under 11.4, the M1 Mac wrote 27.96 GB to the SSD, a drop of around 40% from the previous value. Then I dropped the resolution and edited a 3 minute 1080p video in Final Cut Pro, again with simple transitions, colour grading and a music track. After the export, the Intel Mac had written 0.55 GB to the SSD and the M1 Mac wrote 18 GB. Now, under macOS 11.4, the M1 Mac wrote 10.82 GB. Again, that's a drop of around 40% from the original value, but still 21 times higher than the Intel Macs. For the next test, I switched to web browsing. I opened the same 10 tabs on both Macs in Google Chrome, with one tab playing a 1440p YouTube video, and browsed for 30 minutes. After half an hour of browsing, the Intel Mac had written 1.38 GB and the M1 Mac 11.84 GB. This time though, the M1 Mac wrote just 1.31 GB. This is a massive reduction and puts the M1 Mac running 11.4 on a par with the Intel Mac. Finally, I switched over to Safari, opened the same 10 tabs and the same video and again browsed for 30 minutes. In this test under 11.2.3, the Intel Mac wrote 0.82 GB and the M1 Mac wrote 10.29 GB. Now with macOS 11.4, the M1 Mac wrote just 0.97 GB. Again, this puts the M1 Mac on a par with the Intel Mac for SSD usage while browsing. So now let's take a look at the total written across all seven of the tests. 
Overall, the Intel Mac wrote 11.24 gigabytes in total across all of the tests. The M1 Mac wrote 227.42 gigabytes under OS 11.2.3, and that was reduced to 119.5 gigabytes under Mac OS 11.4. That's a reduction of around 40%. With the exception of Apple Photos, all of the applications have seen a large reduction in the amount of data being written to the SSD between macOS 11.2.3 and 11.4. And if you restrict your usage to web browsing, there's basically no difference now between SSD usage on an M1 Mac and an Intel Mac. However, if you do anything creative like photo editing or video editing, then unfortunately you're still going to be seeing about 10 times more data being written to the SSD on an M1 Mac than you would doing the same work on an Intel Mac with the same amount of RAM. At the time of my original video I had 9.5 terabytes written to my M1 Mac's SSD. In the 10 weeks since then that's grown to 76.5 terabytes. To put this into perspective, my 2017 15-inch MacBook Pro had written 18 terabytes in two and a half years when I sold it. It had been very heavily used for 4K video editing and photo editing. My 2016 12-inch MacBook is at just over 18 and a half terabytes now, after five years of moderate to light use, including photo and video editing. And my old 2012 13-inch Retina was at 26 terabytes written after 7 years when I sold it back in 2019. My average data written when I made the original video was around 600 gigabytes per day, sometimes hitting over 2 terabytes a day if I was doing a lot of photo editing. Now I'm averaging around 350 gigabytes a day, sometimes going up to around a terabyte depending on how many photos I have to edit. In terms of lifespan, I was looking at around 11 months originally to hit the assumed TBW. Now, with 76.5 terabytes already written, I'll hit that threshold in about one year and four months based on my present usage. On the bright side, seven months after release, the M1 Macs do finally have full support for booting from external drives, which is the best option to save your internal SSD from wear. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.